Hello nerds, today we are going to study about polysaccharide starch glycogen cellulose. Let's study about their differences first. The starch can be taken from the plant, the glycogen can be obtained from animal or fungi and cellulose source is also plant. The subunits that make starch is alpha glucose in case of glycogen alpha glucose is also present while in case of cellulose beta glucose is used now what is alpha glucose and what is beta glucose the beta glucose has oh group above the plane this is our carbon one and the oh group when present above the plane it is known as beta glucose and when oh group or the hydroxyl group is present below the plane it is known as alpha glucose so in starch and glycogen alpha glucose is present while in case of cellulose beta glucose is present talking about the bonding in starch 1 4 bonding which is present in amylose as well as 1 4 1 6 linkage is also present which is present actually in amylopectin so we can find two types of bonding in starch 1 4 bonding and 1 6 bonding while in case of glycogen we can also find 1 4 and 1 6 bonding here you can see this is a bonding between carbon 1 and carbon 4 while there is also some branches which are actually formed between carbon 1 and carbon 6 so this branch is actually forming 1 6 bonding and this is forming 1 4 bonding in case of cellulose we have only 1 4 bonding here you can see the bonding between carbon 1 and carbon 4 if we talk about the branches the amylose has no branch here you can see this is the structure of amylose which is a straight structure while in case of amylopectin we have the branches here you can see and this branches is because of one six linkage while in case of glycogen we can also find so many branches because it also has one six linkage while in case of cellulose we do not have any branches because it does not has any 1 6 linkage so all the chains they are straight the starch can be found in the grains in the tubers or any plant source while glycogen is present in the granules which are present in the liver or muscles while cellulose is present in the fibers and it is also a part of cell wall the function of starch is to store food as well as glucose glycogen is also going to store food food means that glucose they are stored in the animals in form of glycogen and in the plant in form of starch while the cellulose is actually going to form the structural material it means that it is going to make cell wall and that cell wall is going to protect the cell the molecular weight of starch is variable it depends on um, how many amylose are present and how many amylopectin are present while in case of glycogen the molecular weight is 666 grams per mole while cellulose has a molecular weight of 162 grams per mole if you wanted to test these compounds you can test it with the iodine the iodine is going to be converted into blue color when it's going to react with the starch it will produce red color when going to react with glycogen while in case of cellulose no color change will take place along with the differences there are some similarities which are present among these three polysaccharides the first similarity is the subunits are glucose whether it is alpha glucose or beta glucose but the subunit is glucose the glycosidic bond is present between the subunits when two glucose molecules they are going to combine together the bond which is going to form is known as glycosidic bond and this bond is found in these three polysaccharides the molecular formula for these polysaccharides is c6h10o5 and means that the number of more molecules like this so these are the differences and similarities polysaccharide starch glycogen cellulose if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i'll see you in the next video